I'm Susan Heller, the Kosher Keto Maven, and today we're going to make meatloaf. This meatloaf uses ground beef, cauliflower rice. The cauliflower rice does not need a hexure, according to the CRC, the Chicago Rabbinical Council. What you do need to do is put your rice in a bowl of water with vegetable spray and agitate it for 20 seconds, and then it's acceptable to use. The other ingredients include Worcestershire sauce. I have some of my homemade Worcestershire sauce. It's parv. Most of the store-bought ones are fish. We also use some tomato paste. I'm using the 365 Whole Foods brand, brand and it's OU. Some onion, just a quarter cup. Some garlic, one clove some brown sugar by Swerve, that's also OU, some Redmond Real Salt, which is OU, some black pepper, which is KSA, Kosher Supervision of America, an egg, and some Chosen Foods avocado oil. All right, so let me get set up and we'll get started. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna do is measure out three quarter cups of the cauliflower rice. I'm using a quarter measure, so I'll put three of them, and I'll put it into this bowl of water. This is the vegetable wash I use. It's called Fit Organic, and it's OU. I'm gonna just spray some in there and agitate it, stir it around a little bit for 20 seconds. Okay, and the second thing we're gonna do is to saute the onions and then after five minutes, we'll add the garlic. So we need a teaspoon of oil, and we'll heat that up. And when that's ready, we'll add the onions. Meanwhile, we'll um, strain the cauliflower rice. Okay, I'm gonna strain it in this over the sink, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm finished with the rice. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm going to saute the onions now. We'll saute them for about four minutes till they're nice and translucent and then add the garlic. Meanwhile, we have a pound of meatloaf and we can dump everything else in. So here's three quarters of a cup. Here's one egg, one tablespoon of tomato paste, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I will link uh, the video to the Worcestershire sauce. and the salt and pepper. It's one teaspoon of salt and three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's all for right now. Let's stir the onions. And let's stir the meatloaf. nice and mixed. So let's, when this is ready, we'll add it. We also will make a sauce and we can go ahead and mix that up now. The sauce is three tablespoons of the Swerve brown sugar, two tablespoons of the tomato paste. I'm going to add that to the brown sugar. This is a sauce that gets put on top of the meatloaf. Two teaspoons of water. A 
I didn't mean to do that off camera. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna stir that carefully. And that makes our sauce. That's what makes this meatloaf so special, I think. Of course, you can make it without the sauce, but it's the sauce that makes it for my family. Okay, these look ready to add the garlic. We're gonna saute one minute more and then add it to the meatloaf. ready. I'm preheating my oven right now to 350 degrees. Okay, this is ready. I'm going to dump it right into the meatloaf. Give it a good stir. Oh, better turn this off. You can put it in a loaf pan or you can bake it in this pan that's about six by nine, I think. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. it into a meatloaf shape with just my hands. There you go. Now we take our sauce and just kind of plop it on the top and spread it all around. And I put it over the edges just a bit. You don't need to cover it. So to bake it for 50 minutes or until it's 160 degrees internally, and then you're ready to serve. While that's cooking, I want to show you what I do with my leftover tomato paste. I measure out a tablespoon. and I plop it onto this cutting board and covered with parchment paper. I'm gonna freeze these. You could also do it in an ice cube tray, but then they turn your ice cube tray reddish, orangish. After they're done freezing, probably for about an hour, they come right off the parchment paper and I just put them in a Ziploc bag and label the bag and put it in the freezer. That way, next time I make meatloaf or anything else that uses the tomato paste, I have it pre-measured for a tablespoon. The meatloaf is ready. 
Oh, it looks scrumptious. One of the reasons that I make it in this shape is because I can cut it into four nice pieces. And this is what it looks like.